There's been a police shooting at a taco stand, and we are getting an update. Let's listen in. And that is our off-duty Los Angeles police officer. The other individual who was present with the off-duty officer was taken immediately to a local hospital where he is undergoing treatment at this time. And I have no further on that. All of the Los Angeles Police Department's available investigative resources and support services are here at scene. They are committed to doing a thorough, fair investigation that will lead us on the road to justice for what has occurred here today. We also want to thank the community for their patience as this investigation continues and has impacted this area and we are doing our best to minimize those impacts. I have been in constant communication with the mayor of the city of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, who has also sent his deepest condolences to the men and women of the Los Angeles Police Department. In addition, Chief of Police Michael Moore, who is out of the country at this time, has been in constant communication with me as the news breaks and as updates have been provided. We ask the public to keep the officer and his family and the additional victim who is undergoing treatment right now in their thoughts and prayers. There is still a long road in this investigation. We are following and we are pursuing. And we ask again for the public and the community's patience as more information will come out. But at this time, this is all that we can give you as more develops. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Could you recap for us the beginning? Not now. Not right now. Okay. Thank, thank you thank very you. much. We appreciate your time. Obviously, a very difficult situation. Lynette and Mark, can you hear me now? This yes. is a very difficult time right now for the LAPD. Can you hear me, Lynette? Yes, we can hear you, Sarah. Could you tell us exactly what happened at the beginning of this press conference? Yeah, uh, yeah, we, we missed the, the the beginning of this, but uh, the uh, acting chief here, Beatrice Gramala, uh, just uh, giving us a quick overview, the, the LAPD giving us a statement that an off-duty LAPD officer was killed last night. Uh, a person apparently uh, near a taco stand. She, what she said was, uh, she says, deep sorrow providing this information of this off-duty police officer. This all happened sometime around 1 a.m. this morning. Uh, we are hearing that uh, somebody, uh, a person, so a, a member of the public, flagged down a motorcycle officer uh, after finding that there had been two people who were shot. This is over here in the, in the Lincoln Heights area off of Figueroa. Uh, when that officer arrived, he found that the officer uh, was down. There was another person injured. And right now, um, there is still a, a suspect at large. Uh, they didn't say much else at this time. We're going to go through what Beatrice said and get back to you. But again, there is an off-duty police officer with the LAPD who was killed last night. Sarah, I know that uh, the acting chief did talk about wanting to um, find justice for what's happened. Certainly, they're still trying to gather all the information and reeling for their own loss. Um, but can you talk about, do they say anything about suspects? Is there one suspect, two suspects? Is there any vehicle description? Any other information that we can pass on to our viewers? Not at this time. They said right now it is just early in the investigation, and they are asking for patience as they continue to unravel exactly what happened last night. Sarah, you know that uh, you know that the, yes. No, I, I was just going to ask you. It's um, it, it's rare when you see officers that, as we just did a few moments ago. It appeared that they, they were very shaken uh, by the news that's transpired here over the past few hours. Can, can you speak to that? Um, I think that um, everybody is very upset out here. If you look out, you can see this police presence is massive. I mean, there are dozens of black and whites. There's all kinds of brass here. And, uh, you know, they're doing what they do. But again, they've just said this is early in the investigation and uh, they are going to piece by piece go through this to figure out exactly what happened. Sarah, was the, do, do we know if the officer was transported to the hospital? Is that where he was pronounced or she was pronounced? We don't know, Mark. At this point, we just have the statement from uh, the acting chief that one officer, an off-duty police officer, was killed last night. All right, sir, we know that you want to go through that interview and uh, get whatever details you can. Hopefully, they'll give us some updates. Certainly, people want to know um, who this officer was, uh, how long he'd been on the force, all, all of the things that, you, you know, you want to know about family, where he's from, all of those things. So we're hoping that we'll get that information throughout the morning.
one thing I think is rather evident as well is that when you do figure out whether or not it was a man or a woman, where the body is at this hour, there's likely to be some sort of procession yeah. that takes place, as is the case with so many of our fallen officers, at least over the course of the past year. But our thoughts and prayers most definitely with members of the Los Angeles Police Department and all of Los Angeles, for that matter, because uh, the men and women of the uh, Los Angeles Police Department, they serve and protect us. So it's going to be a rough morning for them, and we will, of course, continue to follow these developments.